players in the world. Uh, I think, you know, there were more than a few people who called him to take this event. Right. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah. his first matchup against Problem X can be a problem. Could be a problem. Yeah, it could absolutely. Be. Uh, he. he was looking so strong right before Canada Cup. He took Brooklyn beat down, and he was just playing out of his mind. And it started. He started making it look like Cammy was like the best character in the game, right? Uh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> Problem X going with Alex, and yeah. uh, I talked to Problem X, and he said that he believes that this is a match that uh, Alex wins. Al uh, so Cammy is really good at the footsies, right? She's good at controlling neutral. But Alex has some great buttons, great poking buttons. Definitely it's just, so. It's just all a matter of whether and, and Cammy ton, can get in or not. Right. It, also, a ton of damage output available. During V-Trigger, he has a parry. So, you know, the normal approaches right. of dive kick can be solved. It's a risk, of course, for, mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. Alex, but can be solved by that. Problem X was uh, a top player in Street Fighter Four as well. And part of why I was so impressed by him was that he went from playing a very uh, active, offensive, kind of nutty Viper and Seth to being a great control player. Mm -hmm, great mm -hmm. control player with Seth. And then in Street Fighter V, when the game started, he was playing Bison and Geef more, mm -hmm, and you could mm -hmm. see his patience, you could see his control. And so it's not the case. He was already fantastic as a, a active offensive player. Right. But now he has more than that, mm -hmm. right? Now he has all the sides to his game ready. So he's, I, I think he's a big threat here. Yeah, he just got second place at the pre-tournament at Wednesday Night Fights earlier this week, using almost exclusively Bison as well. So his Bison's definitely ready to go. But he told me, you know, he keeps Bison for certain matchups. This is definitely not one of them. He definitely feels like Alex does well against Cammy, But, you know, there aren't many Cammies like Xiao Hai. No, no, no. He's And as many, you know, there are some very good Cammies. But each of them plays a different style, and, and Xiao Hai... Uh, his style is is reactive. He puts himself in a good spot. Yeah, he's just so so good at well, all aspects of the game. But the most impressive part to me is the reaction. So many mix-ups that work on other people are just not real against him. Right. Okay, starting off with the grab. Not too much afterward, though. Yeah, that crouching medium punch is a problem. Cammy really has to whiff punish that in order to get him to stop. And you see him trying there with that stance yeah. strong. But you see how far that reaches? Oh, it's, it's a, one of the better buttons yeah. in the game, for sure. There it is. There you go, right there. That is exactly what Xiao Hai needs to establish. And now this is where the, the match swings in Cammy's favor, is this pressure once she gets in. Absolutely, yeah, you can see why. So and Alex, a full the confirm off of counter hit, pouch, medium punch into stand, fierce. Oh, not quite death. But anything will do it, of course, and there's the whip punish. Mm -hmm. What a range just outside of Crouching Strong and perfectly Round timed two. on the button. Yeah, once Cammy starts doing that, then you got to start throwing in those light elbow slashes, just like that. Just to kind of get her discouraged from trying to stand at that range where the Crouching Medium Punch will whip. You see, he was able to whip punish with his elbow slash. Ooh, Ooh. Roundhouse, and then Xiao Hai had none of that. Not uncommon to see when somebody finally gets a knockdown opportunity for the first time. <laughs> To see a Dragon Punch right. to end it. Okay, the timing on that was perfect. Blocking was there. Problem X has been on the back foot most of this time, though. No anti-air. Alex does have those options. Standing light punch can be a problem, but that's the nice thing about Cammy. She's got that dive kick that can change her jump timing. Well, Alex can bring out with... Oh, okay, warm it up. So now the next hit will be counter it. But Alex has nice anti-airs in... Uh, and EX le uh, knee, whatever it's called. Crouching Pierce is there. He has some options. All right, Xiao Hai trying to get in there, but you see a couple of back. That's punishable. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, right? That's mm. it's a risk again, but went for it. So reset opportunity for Problem X that's didn't work good. out, yeah. and Xiao Hai takes advantage. After that, uh, that V trigger lariat, right? A lot of people will go into the reset of. Mm -hmm chop into something, but I think he was looking for Dragon Punch, right. and there was nothing like that coming out of Xiao Hai. So game one goes to him. Well, Xiao Hai ready to go. Problem X thinking about it a little second, Round but one. here we go. Fight. Game two. Definitely going to stick with Alex. There we go. Gets the counter hit confirmed. Well, keep in mind how back he played in the last one. Oh, big damage time. You, you got to think he's going to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, he chased it down properly. This is going to not kill, but he's going to get close on this. I mean, Cammy could totally make this comeback right now, Absolutely. but that just depends on how much resources Xiao Hai is willing to risk. Right, yeah, he's, he, 
Probably not going to spend bar unless he finds a few hits. All right, well, he gets a back throw. Well, mid-screen, though, not yeah. too much afterward. Kami doesn't really get anything off of her throws. So Problem X activating so that he can do parry more easily. There it is! Oh, he's going to be able to juggle. Yeah, there we go. Oh, grab and then grab again. <laughs> but again, not too much in that situation after. What is that? That's happened twice now. Oh, wow. Is that Stomp? I don't know what he's going for. Oh, didn't get caught by the throw bait. That's good. Oh, wow, oh, that's man. good. That is killer for Ooh. Problem X. I, I just I don't know what it is about the jump forward short. It's the second time we've seen it. Like I said, Cammy just has that ability to get in there and make those kind of comebacks. And there it was. That's not good for Problem X. It's got to be kind of discouraging. Oh, yeah. Another one of those, I played such a great round, and then all of a sudden, Xiao Hai with the comeback. Tried to catch a backdash or a jump back with that Stan Ronhouse. Trying to get a crush counter. Oh, my God. So we mentioned that Alex has some advantages in this matchup, potentially. But one of the problems, of course, is that he just has not not very good wake-up at all. Mm -hmm. Not very good wake-up options. And you can really see that Xiao Hai is taking advantage of that. His pressure up close has been great so far. Yeah. Okay. And, and this is why a lot of people say that they feel like Cami actually wins this match. It's okay. because when she gets in there, her offense is so oppressive. I see. That it's really, really hard for Alex to deal with because he doesn't have good wake-up options. So, back to character select. There are at least, I know there's at least one other option up Problem X's sleeve with the Bison. I don't think he's kept the other characters alive, but I guess we'll see what he does. Maybe just take some time to think about it. Yeah, like, I don't know that it's the, the character... That's the problem, but you know we'll see what his right. what his idea yeah, is. I definitely okay. don't think he's going for a character change. Yeah, there it is. He's just going to stick with this because you know obviously his second strongest character is Bison, and I, that's not going to be a matchup. not a good matchup. For I mean, the only advantage that it might be is that maybe Xiao Hai is less familiar with Bison. But look, if you're familiar with Alex, you're probably familiar right. with Bison because not that many people play Alex. Especially at when your training partner is Daco, who uses every character right. on the planet. Okay. okay, gets the crush counter for that. All right, look at this pressure from Shad. Look at all that gray health that's built up. Dude, I really feel, again, oh. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, what is it supposed to be? Is he trying to do a stomp and it's not coming That's what out? I was wondering before. I don't know, though. All right. Oh, man, this is looking tough right now for Problem X. Shao Hai pressuring well. No confirm there, but he's still so close to the stun. Okay, catching light punch that time. Not getting caught by the throw bait. Oh, he's going for the tricks. Oh, that, it that worked. That does it charge worked. up to be an unblockable. Oh, oh he might get the, the stun on this. Oh, he does. Oh, there it is. All right, Problem X getting his own comeback now. That's some momentum that he needs. Like I said, when you get a comeback on you, it's very discouraging. But then when you get that kind of comeback on somebody, it can energize you. We saw that happen with Brolinho when MOV made that one mistake. That's right. That said, on Xiaohai's side, uh, the way that that happened was uh, tough. It's tough to replicate right. for Problem X. So Xiao Hai, you're just going back to doing what you did well in the previous rounds. Oh, he's gonna spend it. He wants to get this big life lead right now. And he's gonna do it. That's for yeah. sure. Look at that. Establish a little bit of fear. Oh, no whiff punish. Wow, using the EX Hooligan EX dive to get it. So here comes Xiao Hai now. A lot of damage available to him. Problem just going away, taking up a little bit of space here and there. Oh! Didn't have trigger, couldn't cancel. Oh, here comes Xiao Hai. He's gonna get in, get some good damage. Oh, he wanted that crush. That could have ended the round, right. in fact, with that super. Oh! oh he, missed. He, he went for it, but he just missed. That was a nice attempt there, but there you go. Problem X taking his first game, and I was two to one. And how many comebacks have we seen against players that are, are players to watch? Like, haven't We've been, been here <laughs> before, that's for sure. Yeah. And we're only, this is what, the fifth match? This is the, Round one. This is the seventh, I guess? Point. I mean, we haven't had that many matches, and yet right. we've already had some major upsets, some major comebacks. But we mentioned before, we wouldn't consider this a major upset. As much as Xiao Hai is one of the best players in the world, this seems like a matchup that is a problem for him. Potentially. Oh, well, Paul Mech still has a long road ahead of him. He's still oh, yeah. got to win two games. But the, the, taking that first one is always a good start. Nice whip punish from Xiao Hai. No anti-air. No attempt either. Okay. Yes. So now in trigger, dive kicks are going to be tougher. Right. They can be parried. So he just goes for the ground and it works. Yeah. He gets in there. 
There's the parry. Reset, yes. Yep. Trying to jump away, but no dice. And then backs off a little bit, plays it a little bit more carefully, Ooh. and here he goes. Shao Hai can still do this. Yeah. He wanted to get the whiff punish on a crouching strong. Oh, he, he got, got it! Counter hit on the crouch medium punch, which lets him combo in a crouch medium kick. Round match two. point now for Shao Hai. He's got two match points coming up for him. Catch him with the surprise elbows. As long as it's the light one, Cammy cannot punish that. Oh, nice! There's the anti-air. There's the anti-air. Okay, Problem X may be recovering here. Ooh, trying to go for a throw bait, but there we go. With punish from Shao Hai. Gonna save a little bit of that V-trigger. Very careful footsies, nice. I like how he's using that elbow slash. Right, but he put himself in the corner as a result. All right, he's gonna activate V-Trigger, gets in there, confirms. Yes, he got Goes it. low twice, goes low twice. All right, so Problem X, staying alive. That's Fight not a chain anymore, by the way. Yeah. Fight. Might as well be, it looks the same. <laughs> I know, well, it was terrible in third strike, so why not? Nice throw tech. Ooh, not quite there. No anti-air as well. So Xiao Hai is now in. This is where he wants to be. Yeah, really, Problem X has not been able to stop that close range dive kick from Xiao Hai. That's really where Xiao Hai has been getting a lot of it, his offense. So there, oh, there it is. Go. That's what we needed to see for a while. Problem X now brought it out. Okay, but now Xiao Hai has him right back in the corner again. Ooh, oh, big, big moment. Jumping. Cross up jumping roundhouse. That's just a weird hitbox interaction. Yeah, when things go your way, they go your way. Xiao Hai looking good. No need to make anything big happen. I think Problem's is looking for the confirm there. Oh, Ooh, but no confirm. Nothing. Right, could have just triggered. Right. Oh, oh he's that's going to do, do it right there. It's drill into the uppercut, and there it is. Xiao Hai is going to take it over Problem X. So definitely a match that, you know, we said that could definitely cause Xiao Hai some concern. But he definitely looks like he did his studying. Right. And he had everything ready to go. So. Yeah, exactly. So that means that Xiao Hai moves on. Problem X goes to losers. 